Nera Tandon's nomination was withdrawn last night. And yesterday, you know, we heard this a report that at the very least, uh, Lisa Murkowski was flowing the idea that like, hey, if you let me drill in Anwar, uh, maybe I'll vote for Nera Tandon. Good for oh, Joe Biden. For good saying, trade-off. No, thank you. Yeah. Uh, but um, I mean, look, uh, what's interesting about this is Joe Manchin obviously uh, sunk Tandon's nomination. I don't particularly um, think that someone's nomination should be sunk on the basis of tweets from the left. I would have other reasons to oppose Neera Tandon's um, nomination. Um, what's interesting, though, is there was no, uh, because she had alienated the left so determinedly, really, over the years, um, in, a, in, in many different ways, uh, both by, by deed and by, um, by uh, words, uh, there was no one really to fight for her nomination. They could not rally people to pressure anybody. Uh, and that was that the story. It was Manchin that killed it. And obviously, you know, some of the Republicans, because they're going to vote, some of the Republicans are going to vote for some of, uh, of uh, Biden's nominees, without a doubt. But there was nobody to fight. And that's a lesson, I think, uh, that the Democratic Party uh, needs uh, to learn. It's, in many respects, um, it was... Uh, it, it is it is an old story. Well, we'll talk more about this uh, tomorrow. We'll see you then. Just kidding. Right, we're still here. Uh, all right, folks, we're going to head into the uh, fun half of the program. We've got. Uh, I hurt my back the... pretty bad, Sam. I feel like you. You did. Yeah. How'd you work, do that? Working out. Oh well, I didn't do it working out. I did it sleeping. That's the difference. That's a workout for uh, your subconscious. Yeah, exactly. I, I went too. I went too high on the kettlebell, and my whole lower back is shot, depending on how I sit. So. Oh, geez, you got to yeah. be careful about that. I know. 